important, you're more precious. Your soul is more precious than gold and silver and the wealth of this world. And that is why the Bible says that the soul that sinned shall die. Amen. The soul that sinned shall die. And the wages of sin is death. For the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. If you have not been saved, it is very important to accept Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. The reason is so simple. Jesus was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Jesus was born by a virgin. Jesus came here on us. He did not commit any sin. Jesus came to save the world. He did not come to condemn the world. As the Bible says in John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one tells to the Father except through Christ Jesus. There is no any other name given among men for any man to be saved under this heaven except the name of Jesus. Jesus was the word of God that was in the beginning. That same word was with God and that word was God. It was with God in the beginning. Nothing was created that was created without Him, without the Word of God. Everything was made by Him. Everything was created by Him. And that is why Jesus can save the world. It is very important. Don't joke with your soul. Heaven is real. Hell is real. If there is a night and day, if there is light and there is darkness, if there is good and there is evil, then you must know there is heaven and there is hell. There is God and there is Satan. And that is why it is important. Where do you belong? Who do you want to choose? Where do you want to spend eternity? Is it in heaven or is it in hell? Both are real. And that is why it is important for the salvation of your soul. Without the salvation of your soul, you cannot enter the kingdom of God unless you are saved. If you are a sinner and you did not repent, you will not make heaven. You cannot enter the kingdom of God. It is very important. I said Jesus into your life today as your Lord and your Savior. As the Bible says in John chapter 14, verse 4, that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father except through Christ Jesus. There is no prophet, there is no pope or priest that can save any man except Jesus. How can a sinner, how can a man that committed an adultery? A man that fornicated, a murderer, can testify against Jesus or can give a testimony if Jesus is real or Jesus is not real. And that is why it is important. I said Jesus today. There is no any other way. Any man can be saved. I said Jesus. Jesus knew no sin. Jesus is not like any prophet or any priest or any pope. They were all liars. The Bible says if you say you have no sin in you, you are a liar and the truth is not in you. Likewise, the prophets that want to speak against Jesus, they were all liars and the truth is not in them. This truth was not in them because they committed atrocities. They were conceiving sin. They were born in sin. They inherited sin. And that is why they had no tendency to do good. They did evil in the name of religion. And that is why I want to advise you. When Jesus came here not, Jesus did not come to condemn any man. When a woman was caught in an act of an adultery, 
and she was brought to Jesus and through the and through religion they wanted to stone her to death and Jesus took low when he rose up he asked him if any one of you have not seen before let him be the first to throw the stone they all left none was able to, to, to condemn the woman because they were all sinners likewise you and I we were sinners I was a sinner before I gave my life to Jesus before I became a born again That's right. I was a sinner but when I became a born again then I became or I become a child of God I became safe as the Bible says in John chapter 1 verse 2 it says as many as received them he has given them the right to become the children of God when you receive Jesus into your life you will have the right to become a child of God not only that you are a son in the kingdom and that is what is important that is the difference between religion and accepting Jesus into your life between the truth because religion will condemn you religion will accuse you religion will judge you the time of judgment is coming and it's not now but before it comes give your life to Christ Jesus the Lord is coming soon do not joke with your soul tomorrow might be too late May today the day of your salvation. It is very important. We're living in the latter days. The Bible says in the latter days, the love of mankind will wash cold and wickedness will abound. We are living in a time of wickedness. Recently we all saw what happened in the whole world. Innocent people died because of coronavirus, because of an error, because of an issue. Because of people decided to take people's life, I want to advise you, don't joke with your soul. If you are to sleep today and you did not wake up again, where do you want to spend eternity? Where do you want to go? Heaven is real. Hell is real. And there is a kingdom. Both are kingdoms. There is, heaven is a kingdom of light and hell is the kingdom of darkness. The Bible says there shall be darkness in hell. The men and women would gnash their teeth because of the sorrow, because of worms that will enter their body, because of the fire that will burn them, because of the darkness that they will go through. But heaven is a place of bliss. Heaven is a place of joy. Heaven is a place where there is no sorrow, where there is no pain. It is everlasting. Both are everlasting. Both has no hand. Make a choice before it is too late. On that day, it doesn't matter if you if you believe in God or you don't. If you say you don't believe, you have taken a decision. It is a decision. You have refused to know God. You have refused to accept God into your life through Christ Jesus. Or if you said I am atheist. It doesn't matter. It's still a decision. You have decided not to have the knowledge of God. And the moment you refuse to know God, then himself rejects you. I want to advise you. Make today the day of your salvation. Don't let it be too late. The Bible says it is appointed for a man to die once. And after death it shall be a judgment. There is no repentance in the grave. Once you are dead, you wait for judgment. That is why it is important. Use this opportunity to accept Jesus into your life. It is only Jesus that has seen God before. It is only Jesus that came from heaven. It is only Jesus that was with the Father. It is only Jesus that brought the kingdom of God here on earth. It is only Jesus that came to tell us who God is. And that is why it is important. I say Jesus into your life today. The Bible says, while we are yet sinners, that God died for the ungodly. It says, Scarcely shall a righteous man die for one. Maybe a good man. But Jesus came to die for you and I. 
not because we are good or bad. Maybe you want to use this occasion to accept Jesus into your life. You can pray this prayer with me. It is very important. Without repentance, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Say, Father, Father, I Father, repent of I, my sins. I repent of my sins. And I ask for forgiveness. I ask for forgiveness. I renounce Satan. I renounce Satan. And his works. And his works. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I believe in you. I believe in you. And I, I have received you. I have received you. Into my life. Into my life. Today. Today. I also believe. I also believe. And I believe in your name. I believe in your name. That you are sent by God. Sent by God. I believe. I believe. That you died for my sins. That you died for my sins. I also believe. I also believe. That God raised you from the dead. That God raised you from the dead. I accept you. I accept you. Into my life today. Into my life today. As my Lord. As my Lord. And my Savior. And my Savior. And I believe. And I believe. Through you. Through you. I am born again. I am born again. Today. Today. I don't want to go back into the world. I don't want to go back. Don't into let the me world. go back to my to my promise. Go back, go back to my promise. Always keep me safe. Always keep me safe. You are the Lord of my life. You are the Lord of my life. Save me. Save me. Till the end. Till the end. And if you have prayed that prayer, I want to pray with you. Wherever you are, in the name of Jesus, because you are a child of God, you have come to the kingdom. The Lord will keep you safe. You will not be lost. You will not die before your time. God will heal all your diseases. The Lord will set you free from every bondage because you have been set free from sin and death. The Bible says you are passed from death to life. You are a child of God as for today. God bless you. And have a wonderful night and a wonderful day. The Lord bless you. Amen. God bless you, sir.